Hey guys, welcome back. And today is all about all things kids' rooms. Woo! I know you've been waiting for it. You've told me so many times that you wanted to hear about it. And here we are. We're gonna go over a bunch of kids' products that I really love and how to put it all together to really make a great kids' room for you guys. You're gonna love it. Let's go! Now there are two designer elements that I always use when I'm working with little people's rooms. And if you've got little kids, you're gonna wanna incorporate these two ideas as well. First one is think about everything as having a dual function. Perfect example is their beds, right? Lift them up off the floor so you can give them some play space or lower them down and give them a bunch of storage down below. There's lots of different options out there and those are great solutions. So we're gonna talk about sleeping in a minute, but that's one thing that you wanna think about. Second thing is that everything needs to be performance oriented. Ooh, that's a must. Kids are messy. They're supposed to be messy. So we wanna make sure that we can clean things, get things off of walls, do whatever it is we need to do to kind of like make all of it as cleaned up and as easily cleanable as possible. So let's talk about how we can design these spaces so that it makes sense for you moms and makes it easy. To cover it all, I've separated out four main tips to categorize what you're going to design for. First one is sleeping, second one is storage, third one is playing, and what I call learning. Now, the first category we're talking about is sleeping. And we all know how vital that is for kids because they need to do it a lot and they change a lot and grow when they are asleep. So you want to make sure that, again, we do double duty because the bed is one of the biggest areas, right? So you want to have a bed that either contains some storage or you want to have a bed that has been lifted up so that you have access to the space below it. Kids love to climb anyway, so that's not a problem and are able to use that space below for either playing or learning. I think this little bed with just the ladder integrated onto the side is fantastic. And the way that they have created this sweet little play space underneath it for her is just darling. And so that gives her the opportunity to be able to be sleeping at top, playing down below. Now, the second one is great also. This is again the idea of the lifted bed, but then underneath it has this fantastic little storage space with open drawers for toys, but then on the outside of that leg, you've got this beautiful little desk there. So you've got play and learn all happening together. So that's a great little solution. Or this third element, which is lovely too, a lower bed but it has a double drawer of storage down below, so that's great. Or this last one, which I thought was so precious. It's actually a little house which kids love to hide in. So they love little houses and they love little tents. And this one, you just climb up on the side and sleeping on the top and then down below, it's her own little house to play in. So that's a perfect little solution. There's also another bed that has a little bit of a kind of a sailor vibe to it. There's actual stairs that go up to the bottom end of the mattress. And then you've got a beautiful little set of drawers as well as open cased shelving. So that works beautifully. So there's some great, great sleeping options out there that allow you to do double duty in the same footprint on the floor as you would with just the regular bed. So you wanna be looking for these guys. All right, the next major category, woo, and I know you moms all know about this, is ha, finding storage for so much stuff that kids need, right? It's kind of crazy. The smaller they are, the more things they need. So we're going to talk a lot about storage right now. First thing off, repeat this mantra. Baskets are your buddies. Now, that is absolutely what you have to keep in mind because one of the things that is so great about a basket and they come in all sizes right big baskets 
and baby baskets. The big baskets are those quick toy stuffers that you can throw everything into if you need to clean up in a hurry and it's done. And there are some fabulous options out there. Oh my gosh, there's everything from this sublimely simple white rope basket, which is big on the floor and it's fantastic, or this cute little one with the poofs on the sides of it. Those are great all the way up through kind of canvas and stripes and just amazing little ones that have clever sayings on it. There's a host of fantastic baskets that are built for both kids and nursery rooms that are just fantastic to be able to access. So these are absolutely great. The thing that I love and the reason that I specify baskets so frequently is that if you're trying to clean up and you're wanting to get your kids involved, Baskets are a fun and easy way to get them to feel like they're contributing. And when they learn by contributing and cleaning up themselves, you empower them to live in more organized spaces as they become adults. So the next part about storage that's super important is toy storage as such. Now, a lot of people consider trunks. Let me tell you why I'm not a fan. Trunks take up a lot of floor space, A, and B, because they lift up on the top, you can't put anything above them. So for me, my philosophy for my clients is I always try and do large, deep drawers in units like this unit here that's got drawers all along the bottom and then shelves above, or this Ikea unit, which is great, it's got big, deep, bins that you can put toys into and then narrow bins and you can stack those guys. So that's a great solution. But also think about when your little people are helping you clean up. There's some fun elements that you can include too, like stools, which kids love to sit on as well. And they get to lift the top off, pop the toys in, put the top back on. And again, they've contributed as well as given you a little bit of like a fun little accent space. So think about stools and think about getting a unit that has drawers on the bottom that are deep enough that will include some of those bigger toys that need to be put away when they're done playing with them. The next category up is that playing and learning category. And we wanna definitely have elements and things in their rooms that help them do that in a coordinated way, right? So we're thinking things like easels, we're thinking things like craft tables, we're thinking things like activity cards. Ooh, those are great too. So there's a ton of little options. I love this little gray one. I think this one's from Ikea and the kids can keep all of their kind of toys and little creative elements, books and crayons and things like that in those things and they can roll them around. So that makes them good and flexible to use. I love these two easels that are set up on legs that give you the ability to show them where they can draw without consequences. And then all of their little artistic creative products are all kept right there on the easel, which is fantastic. Or a couple of play tables that also double as storage. Those are also good. Or I love this one, a play table that has the reel on one side. So again, they can draw on a flat surface, but then you've got a little activity cart next to it. So you've got some extra storage going on right there as well. So again, thinking double duty with all of these elements makes a huge difference. Let's talk a little bit about decor and theme. Now, some of you all may already have your children's rooms already worked on, but you need to add to some things. And if that's the case, then what you're gonna do is wanna make sure that anything that you purchase kind of aligns with that theme or is a complete neutral like that white basket that we looked at earlier. Now, if you're starting from scratch, lucky you, you're about to have some little people running around and you can kind of create whatever theme you want. 
The great thing about that is that there's so many options to help sort of formulate a theme with the different elements that are needed to be included, like flooring and storage and different seating elements and things like that that can really be done. Like I love this beautiful little California casual room with the little surfboard above it and the bean bag. We're gonna talk about those. That's great or this little sailor basket with the anchors on it. That's a wonderful one. Or this little guy with the little basket shaped in a whale form. So there's a lot of elements out there that can help solidify your scheme without intruding upon it and still deliver both the double duty aspect and the performance aspect. So those are the things that you wanna keep in mind. Now, let's talk about flooring for a second. Think about fun area rugs, or I love, love, love using carpet tiles for kids' rooms because, ah, one gets dirty, you throw it away, you replace it, it's easy. You can cut them into different shapes, that's all great. But if you've already got kind of a specialty area rug in mind, think about the cleanability aspect of it first, number one. And number two, if you think that you really will have a problem with something, consider a product like a Ruggable, which is actually a washable unit add a little bit of a extra padding underneath some of the thinner rugs because kids are on the ground a lot and you want that surface to be a little on the softer side for them. Like I love this little multicolored striped one, that's great. Or the color blocked one that's definitely carpet tiles. Those are all really great solutions. Or you know maybe you've selected a beautiful carpet already like this one that has the big florals on it. Those are beautiful. Just make sure you've got that pad underneath it and it can be clean. Now another favorite decor piece that I love 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 seeing in kids rooms because it's decorative and it doesn't necessarily get in the way but can reinforce the theme in a beautiful way is lovely mobiles. Now there are some fantastic ones out on the market now. This one with the baby llamas just stole my heart. I thought it was amazing. Or how about maybe you have a kind of a mid-century modern home going on? This beautiful little one from West Elm with just these pale colors, that is so beautiful. Scandi, that would work for that as well. I also love the birds. There's some planet ones out there. There's some great mobiles. So make sure you don't leave that out of your decor ideas for things. Now, another one that I love, 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 and so do kids, are beanbag chairs. They are so fun. And there's some that are made expressly for little people. So like this little koala one that's great. Or you can get one that's a little bit bigger and a lot of them come, look for this, with a removable and washable cover, <laughs> which would be great. And I love this little picture of like three or four little kids all piled up on that one big beanbag chair together and they're all reading. So that's just fun and you know, it just works and it's a great little tool to make sure that their space looks coordinated, happy, and they're happy too. Now, my next favorite element that I love to use for decor, and it's probably my favorite, and maybe I saved that for last, is tents. Oh, those are great. Talk about double duty, because there's such a decor statement. I love this little pink one that's so sweet, or this little one that has the little lamb floating in the center. These are great. Tents are fabulous. Kids love to crawl into little spaces and feel all cozy and feel like it's their private space. But the other great thing about tents is that if you're in a hurry, you can just slam a bunch of stuff into there and close those flaps and Everything looks normal and everything looks under control, even though it may not be close to being under control. So baskets are your buddies and tents are your friends. Now, once you have all the finalized decor toys and all the rest of that organized, then you know what it is you're going to need in terms of your storage components and any other organizational elements that will help pull that room together in a way that makes it easy both for your child and for you to clean up when they're done playing with something. So I hope today's video was super helpful for all you moms and pops out there. And the next thing that you wanna make sure you do is go right here to this video, which is the, our small spaces video. This link 
clicks directly to the video. So go ahead and do that and I'll see you guys next week.